Why hello my friends, welcome back to Pokken Tournament where we try and recover after that disastrous Chandelure episode last time. Today we're taking Suicune into the Chroma League and hopefully finding more success. I think I just picked Free Battle. I want League Match. That is what we want. Anyhow, thank you guys for supporting this series. We've got Alan, Amain, Kelly, Sarah, and Miyu ready to take us on as we try to climb out of that uh, 59th slot. We've got Rotom and Togekiss as our supports here in Neo City, and Suicune with a bunch of HP, hopefully we'll pull out a better performance than we got from me and Chandelure last time. Again, sorry for that disastrous episode. I guess you're gonna have one of those every series, and that was it. Uh, Rotom is a Pokemon that attacks airborne enemies. The homing attack and Togekiss boosts speed and HP recovery, so we'll go with her for it now. Looks like a, a close quarter start for here, and Suicune comes in. Uh, putting in a lot of damage early and often with a bunch of HP. We've got 630 uh, of those points to spend on Charizard, trying to grab us as we use our horse-like prowess to work around this floating dragon demon. I will try and counter his downward strike. I think part of the fact that I had so much difficulty uh, last time was the fact that I uh, it is just the Chroma League, but I do think also it was an issue uh, with Chandelure being difficult. As you see here, uh, we're still getting our butt whipped. The Chroma League is coming in strong, uh, and I'm used to having Pokemon that I'm totally familiar with, uh, but I think we can figure it out, and hopefully we prove to ourselves that it wasn't just, uh, that it wasn't just that I'm, I'm terrible at the Chroma League, because we've had plenty of success before, uh, but I think also it has a lot to do with the fact that, uh, Mr. Chandelure or Mrs. Chandelure or whatever you want to call that crazy thing uh, was not the greatest. And I think he's blocking, so our burst attack is probably going to fail. Although, no, it still hits. An ice swell strikes from below. Freezing Charizard down to 130 HP, and we will keep the pressure on. Uh, actually, Charizard will keep the pressure on. He's going to try to get a grab out of us, but I'm going to counter that and come in hot. Uh, we'll back up here, and we'll call in Rotom in the air and home in on Charizard like we just don't care, which, ooh, beams. I'm not even, oh, there's like an ice shower. Did you see that? A long distance ice shower. Not really what I wanted to do there. Um, Charizard's going to call in his little helper, and it's going to come down to the wire as usual in these battles. Oh, God, please don't. He won again. So I guess the Chroma League is just really freaking tough. Uh, either that or I'm just hitting the Pokemon that I'm terrible with. You know, in fighting games, like, you'll be really good with range characters, but really bad with charge characters or something like that. I wonder if that's partially the case? Something like that? I don't know. Anyhow, we'll try to regain our mojo against Garchomp here. And now I, uh... Now I'm, I'm trying to... Not be biased here, and even though I didn't like Shindler very much, I'm trying to maybe think that I'm the the, the one who's having a hard time, not the Pokemon. Unless it just honestly is that anyway. I don't know. Let's just win. How about that? Silence everything and win. I also I'm picking kind of poor Pokemon teams. Uh, I guess we'll have to get crafty here. Suicune does have a really good attack in the fact that her uh, counter is a charge move, so it can deal damage from uh, afar and up close, which is really nice. And we're putting a lot of pressure on Garchomp here, um, and I will counter almost for a win. Ooh, Land Shark, but we deal damage. He, he actually, he deals damage. All right, there we go. Oh, if we if we get him up in the air, then Rotom can hit from above, which is kind of cool. That should finish it off. Good. Okay, so Suicune has found a little bit of a groove here, and hopefully we can keep this up and continue it uh, on to the second round. I'm going to rock with Togekiss um, just for that speed burst. When you saw it activated against Charizard, granted, we did lose, but when you saw it activated, it was super, super sweet and worked out very well. Dropping some pain down, getting the switch, and we'll call in. Okay, that's tough. I didn't know if I... What? Wasn't sure what happened to me when I uh, used the... The what you call it move, like the. Oh, I wonder if I could grab. I, I thought me. I guess you can't grab guys out of the air. Would be pretty cool though. Um, at distance, then we'll call in. Sure, what is? Is that like a deflect? Did you see that? No, I don't know. Okay. 
I'll go ham too. And I'm just gonna cast my burst move right away. It sounded like almost like he used it. Oh, he did. And then I can block his. Interesting. Super interesting. I'll call in Togekiss for increased uh, HP recovery and speed. But Garchomp is gonna press me hard against the wall here. And that may just be the end of us. Oh, uh, looks like we'll survive. Togekiss not providing a whole lot of, uh, yeah. Gosh, this is getting tough. Uh, I do like Togekiss, but I think an offensive Pokemon like Rotom is probably better. Maybe the Chroma League is just getting really, really difficult at this point in the game. That's uh, my most likely guess. Because I'm getting stuck in these combos that are just like having a really uh, effective use of you know, cornering me and then pinning me against the wall, which is all along what they told us to do, if you recall. Come on, Suicune. We are in so much trouble right now. Alright, looks like he unblocked. So we should get the hit there. This should deal a significant amount of damage. And then I'll activate Rotom, and hopefully we can grab the win here. 85. Yeah, let's activate Rotom right away. We got a full burst gauge to go, so I'm just going to try a distance attack. Yes, and we get the win. Okay, so Suicune stays 500. 1-1 one and one here as we move to the third round. Hopefully we can gain uh, some of those prestigious tournament ranking points and move out of the 59th slot where we stayed all last video. Suicune will also level up to the third level, which is good. Uh, I got one in defense, so we'll put something in attack. And it looks like Kelly and Weavile are next. Weavile is another Pokemon we need to be. I think there's three more after this. Uh, Weavile, Prax, and Pikachu. I think that's it. Okay. All right. I am the game, says Ghost Rider. And we're back at the Magikarp Festival, which is our least visited stage in the game. All right, Suicune. That's cool. All right. Recoverable HP reduced by Weavile. Now, speed Pokemon may be tough for Suicune, uh, especially since I guess she's good on the, the anti-grab thing, and she definitely is. Okay, let's try and quick recover. There we go, let's turn the tides right here. Okay, Colin Rotom, as Weavile likes to jump in the air, like she just doesn't care. Even, okay, that's so close to being a punishing attack. There we go, not really, but okay. Weavile going super mega. These battles are getting brutal here in Chroma. And that just, I might as well just surrender. Yeah. Yeah! Why is it so tricky all of a sudden? I have, I, I just. Some of it has to be Suicune and Chandelure. It really does, because I did so good for so long, and we were in. The freaking Chroma League for for part of the time, you know? We were. We really were. Alright, let's just focus here and try to do our best. At least you guys know that the game gets way more difficult uh, in the later hours as opposed to how it sort of started off. Remember how it started off really easy and we were kind of like, is it ever going to get more challenging than this? Well, the answer is yes. How does Weavile get two uh, burst gauges before I get one? And grabbing me, of course. Cool. Colin stinking Rotom here. Probably not going to do a whole lot for us. Yep. Let's see if we can stay alive here. Phase shifting in. Some whipping action. Okay, we survived. That's good. So Suicune definitely came back. The matches are tough. But we'll call in Togekiss for some extra speed, I guess, against uh, Senior Weavile here. And we do get a nice first strike, which is going to take out a significant amount of HP that will really be in our benefit. And we do a little extra damage there. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Again, a third burst. I don't know if I've ever seen people have this many burst moves in one freaking battle before. It's kind of insane, isn't it? I'm blocking. This is good. I should should block away most of it, and I do. Now nah, it deals no damage because Weavile likes to jump. At least we got... Oh, crap. Okay, let's call in Togekiss and get, give me some speed. All right. It looks like we should finish Weavile off here. I'm really fast. I can get in there quick. Close quick. 
and just focus on my power attacks. Oh, 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 and we got the great win. Sweet cool, up two to one in this best of five. Well, it's not really best of five, but in this five round league match battle series. All right, we're up two to one, and we level up. I'll take my. Uh, I feel like her synergy is really good, so let's take her its synergy. The synergy is really good. I don't know if it's a male or female Suicune. All right, so on to Sarah and Lucario. See how we fare off here. Um, it's kind of an interesting support group. There's some definite advantages to it, and at the same time, it's also kind of not the best. Um, okay, so Lucario is a pacifist, apparently. Well, then... Let's go, Magic Up Island. Here we fly. Oh, ah, uh, uh, Hawaii. Oh, ah, uh, Lucario. Oh, oh. Bringing down some uh, aquatic ice from above. Trying to get Lucario frostbitten here. Uh, and I call in ice from afar. He brings out his bone pole. And that's never a good look. All right, we'll grab you. Fight with all my might. Tonight is the night. Okay, Lucario's weird. Not sure how that damaged me. I guess he did a counter or something. We'll do. Oh, wow. Okay, let's bring in Togekiss. I need the HP recovery and I need the speed. I'm going to fight Lucario. Get another grab here. About even in the battle. Uh, my synergy gauge is thankfully higher. I catch Lucario right as he gets up, which is great. Oh, and we miss him with the grab, but we'll get him again on the other side. We tried to avoid our first, but we go burst mode, and I'm going to guarantee the victory here because it's... It's just too dangerous at this stage in the Chroma League, in the A-League here. Uh, you never know when you're going to win, when you're going to lose, what is going to come back to bite you in the butt. Uh, as you see, it's, it's actually a lot closer than you may think. So I'm going to activate my burst attack here, and we will finish Lucario off right about now, which is a good way to be... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet. All right, Togekiss is ready to go. Bazinga. All right. Um, and we'll come in crashing hard. Ice walling up. I'm not sure what that does. Lucario is going ham right off the bat, which is a little bit scary. Uh, we'll try to get in here and get a grab to burn his boost. His burst as you would have it. All right. I like this attack. Keeps him at distance and just, like, really benefits me. Make sure he doesn't stay get close to us. There we go. Spamming this is not cool. I don't even really freaking care at this point because I just have to win and advance up the Chroma League. All right, and we'll call in Togekiss. Don't need the HP recovery, but I'll take the extra speed just to make sure that we finish him off and that we should get a perfect round here. Perfect. All right, so sometimes we can be awesome, and that was one of those times. Suicune gets the win, goes up 3-1, to one, and we'll definitely be advancing uh, in this video no matter what. A 4 and a half star battle, nearly perfect. And now we'll put our skills... Uh, into the attack category to boost up our damage dealing potential. Miu is awaiting in battle number five. Uh, and hopefully we'll climb into the 40s, the 4-1 uh, set here. And then we'll do another set, because Suicune actually is pretty cool. Going back to Diggersby Land, our childhood uh, party place. All right. Pika Libre. We'll call in Togekiss for some extra speed here. There we go. Again, the zone spam here. Especially against the guys who aren't, like, exceptionally fast Pokemon. Pretty smart. Okay. Nice little lead in there. Ooh. Gosh, cuts our counter. You'll notice that they're using a lot more special techniques and, like, just, like, overall good moves than any of the leagues before us by far. Now, we get the phase shift. We get Togekiss. Bring in some extra speed to hopefully... Uh, dominate the end of this fight and we actually get so much speed uh sylveon will try to help pikachu libre uh, we get more speed than even the speed guys which is really nice and that sh oh almost the finish the blow and there it is one hp really fine build my burst gauge a nice little backhand attack there but we win all right so sweet coon will definitely turn the tides uh from mm, the chandelure and uh, now we will be able to go ham at the new place, not named 57. Okay, remember, my burst strategy for these guys is to keep them at range and away from me by doing this. Because you're going to try to duck around and move around. I get grabbed before I can activate my burst. 
Let's go! Get crazy, Suicune! Don't be lazy, Suicune! And, uh, Miss Togek is almost ready for activation. Before that, let's call in our burst move! Oh, wow, it didn't even work. Nice. Come on. Come on. Call in Togekiss. We'll take damage. Did he knock Togekiss out? I think he did. I don't think we gained any of the benefits there at all. Which is a madness, insane sauce. How do you manage to cancel out my counters? That's the thing I would love to learn. Hit it against the wall like you know how to do. Ah! Counters the grab, and it's becoming a very close fight here. Holy crap, that's an amazing combo. The combos that these opponents are getting us in now are ridiculous. And it looks like we finished the fight. Good deal. You're a master in the making. Thank you, Nia. I appreciate it. Hey, keep up the good work. All right, skill level six. Um. Defense, I guess. Try to balance Suicune out here. Ooh, I got a black bandage. Not sure that really does much for me, but let's see. Did we climb into the 40s? I sure hope. Up to 49. Okay, so we did gain 10 spaces, which is glorious. All right, and now we can do our darndest to move through Wait, another round. Um, okay. Robert, Abel, Charlie, Patricia, and Joseph. A little bit of variety on the Pokemon side of things as well. Uh, and we'll rock... I'm gonna go back to my Espeon, Umbreon team. I still think that's my overall favorite. Uh, okay. Charizard and Old Ferrum. Let's see how it goes, Suicune. You have proved yourself. Been quite the champ here. Alright, Espeon with the HP recovery. I like her. Started being kind of slow. Should be good to get in there with some uh, early range attacks. He's just standing there, so... I mean, okay. Counter you. And grab you. up. Oh, oh, he... Beat the grab. We get, the, get him with the counter. Getting an early grab right when they stand up, though, is a great way uh, to extend this. Do I have a secondary grab? Mm, that's my only grab. Do I have anything else? Doesn't look like it. Aurora being cancelled? Okay. Stop it, Charizard. You know how I feel about these kind of things. As soon as she gauges max, but I'll bring an Espeon and hopefully win this first fight uh, without bursting it up. And then we can burst right off the bat in the next round. Should be a great way to start things off. Ow. Okay. Again, the combo potential here is very strong. Ooh, wow. Okay. Get the KO, though. Whew, that was a little tighter than I expected it to be. But at least we ended the second round with a full-on, uh... Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Full-on burst gauge. Boom! Let's go, Suikinator. Mega Chara hater. Oh, and he's gonna go right into his burst. And he caught me just in the tail end. I almost dashed out of the way. Should've just blocked. Didn't expect him to activate it right off the bat, though. Chunks into my burst, and uh, I guess what we'll do is then use our burst, chunk into his, and also deal significant damage. Push him back. Yeah, we chunk out quite a bit of his burst gauge there. And basically keep things even. I still have some more of my burst gauge, so does he as well. Uh, so it's fun we'll to use this together. Seems like the burst gauge attacks worked out better for him than for me, which is kind of sad. I thought I would maintain the advantage there. Uh, that's pretty even, though. Ah! Uh... Yeah, he got me. Okay. 1-1 one, one here. Again, as we climb the ranks, it seems like the battles just get tougher and tougher. All right. That's a good burst, though, to blow him out. Start, and I'm going to do it again. Oh, I thought he was going to go to the sky, but he doesn't. He stays on the ground. Alright, so cool. We'll do that. Count. Oh, wow. Some of these attacks must have stuns on them that they can, like, counters don't even affect them or something. You know what I mean? Okay, I got a burst. I have to. 
I'm gonna try to like shut down his synergy gauge by burst attacking. Does this take out? I don't know if it takes away his synergy gauge when he's not in burst mode. No, it builds it. Crap. Okay, but we did deal significant damage. I'll call Espion in right away. We'll blast him, hopefully, with the finishing blow right uh, here. There we go. Good. Okay, so we advance on. Sweetcoon's only lost once, so she's actually doing pretty well. Whew. All right. Three, four stars, actually, which is great. And we reached level seven, so we're powering up and pushing through, which is nice. A lot of these battles are going uh, three rounds, which is interesting, because that's something that typically we never uh, we never saw, you know? Um, anyhow. Well, uh, oh god, I guess we'll rock these guys again. Toga, because the speed helps. And it's a Libre, so it could come in, uh, uh, could come in handy here. All right, Suicune, show them what you got. That crystal on your head is the hot spot we want to be. Please don't kill me. I love you like European iced tea. Actually, I hate rot water. Okay. I could seriously just probably get a perfect from range here. I know it's slightly cheap, but I'm just going to do it just so I can hear him say perfect because I like that noise. Oh, he's doing it. I'm impressed. Okay, so we don't get the perfect there. And Pikachu does a great job of uh, comboing out of the uh, the uh, attack strain there, which is really good. And shows that the AI has a significant boost in tactics um, by the end of the game. And the reason it was impressive is because you saw me, uh, I was just distancing him, and he, he used amazing, amazing ideas to, uh, God, no! Yes. Uh, amazing ideas to, like, block and roll and block and roll and get close to me. Uh, I have a burst gauge, so we'll use it right off the bat here. Actually, you know what we'll do first. Hey. Alright, we're we'll getting dual phase here. Okay, let's go. I want you to activate yours so I can suck it away with my burst attack. Please do it. Yep, here he goes. Oh, he canceled my burst gauge attack. Wow. I guess I used it too soon after he activated the burst mode and like canceled it all out, which is weird. I mean, we will beat him here, which is nice, but I think. Again, that is a great combo. Into his burst attack like that? That's sexy business, and it's going to deal like 300 damage. Definitely not as much damage as I expected. I'm not sure if that was like a weak version or something happened. Because when you have thought it would have done way more than like 40 damage. Okay. Should almost get the win there. Togekiss will build our speed and we'll just come in him, come at him here hard or not. Okay. Hit him! Whip him! Ah! No! Come on! There we go. Okay. Little half counter there to kick some butt. And uh, away we go. Nice work. Looks like my advice is sweet. It's where you want to assign your skill points. I'm gonna go for attack here. I feel like that's just what we want. You we get a narcissist. Wow, that is not me. Uh, Charlie and Gardevoir will be up next for us. Three more battles to win. I wonder what Pokemon we're going to end up using uh, in the the final like battle. Because I only have three more, and I think in theory, whoever we save for last uh, will be the person um, who we fight. Okay, sorry, trying to, uh, trying to respond to an email at the same time, which I know is bad, but it's an exciting email. It's a, a code for something that's coming out. Alright, come on. Oh, Gardevoir, nice countering there. I really liked Gardevoir when we had the chance to play her. I thought she was really good. A little damage to both of us, but I have way more HP, so it works in my favor. Canceling our counter. Look at that. Those aerial combos are not something we would have seen in any of the first few leagues here, which is 
It's really what I find impressive about these later Pokemon. God, canceled my Togekiss and my Grab. Grabs are dangerous, especially against technical Pokemon like Gardevoir here. Who has a Burst Gauge already, which is dangerous business, and is going to use it to go Mega on us. But I'm going to try to just keep her away. This is my burst, anti-burst move strategy here. I don't know what you're trying to do. Recover HP or something, maybe. Burn that Burst Gauge. Don't use your attack. You are dumb, and that's a fact. Good deal. Alright, almost dead. Gotcha. With a little wave of weather. All right. Come on, Weavile. You psych up. All right. Keep that up for the next battle. Should we use Rotom or should we? St I guess we'll stick with Togekiss. Rotom doesn't do a lot. Okay. Ah, Gorby. That's my new sweet coon saying. There we go. Getting her out of the air, and we will go burst mode engage. Like you just don't care about us, but you do, cause you're gonna use your supersonic something or other to siphon off our burst gauge. I'm gonna have to use that burst move before it blows away in this guard of war wind. Okay. Should take her down into the 300s. Oh, 200s, nice. 274. A little bit of move there. Come in hot. I don't know what that ball of stuff does. Uh, but I doubt we even need it here. Because we're going to get the sport gauge on max. We'll grab some speed, and I don't even know if you're going to have a chance to do your burst attack, because we should punish you right there with the win. Moving on, Suicune has strung together, like, seven wins in a row now, which is marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Beautiful. Okay. You're a master in the making. Thank you. Another four-star victory the for work. the champ. That's me. That's me. Skill level nine. All right. Um, yeah. Making a support set. It looks this will be some good old fun. All right, we're ready to go. Let's do it, baby. At the first volcano, Pikachu ran Patricia. She's kind of cute. Maybe Ghost Robo and her can get together in game or not. She might cry after we beat her. But, uh... That's the way Sweetcorn has been working lately. Yep, pretty sure you... Well, Electricity usually, like... Pikachu likes it when there's water on the battlefield, but uh, not the case today. We're going to really be aggressive with him. Charge in there. Deal what we want to deal. Do what we want to do. And make sure that we keep him punished like he has done to us before. Remember when Pikachu Libre has been a jerk with the combos? Not Patricia's. But other Libres have been real nasty creatures, so we're going to make sure that we really charge up and finish this fight fast and quick. There we go. See, he's starting to do his combos. We want to watch out for it, and we'll get the grab to finish the fight. Go up 1-0, and tonight is our night. Oh, my God. He's got 4 HP, really? How do you have 4 health? I love that little back, back move. And he, and he gains health out of it, too, which is ridiculous. Okay, stop! I literally am, like, going to die combo in the corner. I'm going to burst just to get him out of the corner. Uh, I'm just going to give this to guarantee the victory. Whoa, he dodged it! He dodged it! Did you see that? Oh, my God. I mean, we still got the win, thank goodness, but he he freaking used agility to cancel out my burst. Oh, man, that was sexy. Patricia, I like you even more now. I'm impressed by your mastery. There we go. Kind of like snuck behind Pikachu there. And it looks like both of our bursts are at the same level. Which is good news. Alright. Don't mess with my hair. I got lovely purple hair. Can't you tell? It's like a trademark. A sweet clean trademark. Man, how does that work? There we go. Got you again. Bring Togekiss in for extra speed. And now we can cruise in here and really deal the damage we want. Yep, that's the finisher. Alright. Into the final fight we get. Huh? <laughs> Swicoon. Another nearly four star performance for us, and we reach level 10. So, yeah, I determined that Chandelure is just bad. It has nothing to do with the Chroma. I mean, Chroma is definitely way tougher now, but as you see, I do just fine here. So, it's definitely the fact that Mr. Uh, Chandelure is just not good. All right, Joseph and Garchomp round out the day. Hiya there, come on, let's get right to the battle. He's got like tattoos on his face. All right, we'll rock. 
Toby kiss one more time for extra speed. And this guy has a, he's got an 87 win percentage. He's 37, so we should climb to like 34 because this will be a 5-0 battle. Uh, if me and the uh, the Manectric watching us can claim the throne. The sleeping Jiggly Puff over there. Oh, I'm about to fall asleep myself. Not from lack of an excitement, though. I think it's been possibly the best episode yet. The Pokemon episodes have always been good, and the Mewtwo ones were really fun. But I've really enjoyed this one because almost every battle has been super intense, and that's what you like to see from these. Okay, nice absorption of the attacks. I like that. Give you credit for that, but I will do it right back to you. A little bit of bad timing there, but we get our uh, cancel the grab out. And that's good. Um, I'm gonna bring I, some speed would be a massive use here. So let's uh, let's bring Togekiss in. Oh, nice. Good moves. Okay. Guard Chomp takes the lead. And we take it right back. I like those like little swipes. It's a really close battle here. Yes, and that's the finisher we wanted. Cool. One more fight, baby. One more fight. But Suicune tonight gonna grab that crown from Chroma League right. I'm not sure exactly who's at the top of the Chroma League, but what comes after A? I don't know. Nothing? We should win and just be champions after this. He's blocking, so I'm not sure if he's still going to block. Oh, no, we got him. He tried to get out of it, and this should take him down into the uh, low 200s. Yep. Nice, nicely swide type that uh, move, but we should get him there. Phase shift to where we want to be, and then I still have some burst left, which we'll use. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go... Oh, God. Uh, kicking in them. Luckily, I had nearly full health, and I've got Toga Kiss, toga kiss <laughs> for HP recovery. That guard chomp attack is mighty strong, uh, but we've got some HP to recover, so hopefully Toga Kiss can help with that. Get in there and deal damage and get the win. Right? Nope. Nope. One attack, Suicune. All you need is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got him! Okay. Woohoo! One to zero. That was insane. This episode has been insane. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got three more characters to be in. It may time perfectly that we uh, have three or more episodes before we are champions of all of Varen. So make sure that like button if you're enjoying the series. Let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. I'm glad we were able to go 9-1 and one today after our terrible showing with Chandelure. No match for me. You were not, Joseph. And uh, we climbed from 49 to 35. Moving up 14 spaces. So yeah, probably next time we'll go up to 19 and then up to 5 or 6. And then we should be good to go. Wait, so the third video. So think about who you're going to be. I've got Braxton, wait, Pikachu, and Weavile left. So think about who you're going to be last. Maybe help that uh, decide who you're going to vote for. Until next time, everyone. Drink so much. Thanks again for being amazing. I love you. We'll see you all later.